I wanted to speak to you about uh, scene nine of the play, ends in a blackout. Um, it's an interesting technique that inverts uh, melodrama of any kind, uh, where Marissa is struggling and sort of playing up to Danny, saying that she wants to speak to him about it, but he's not interested in her personal life. He believes that it's not his business, but if it is important to her, he'll listen. And right before she tells him that it blacks out, which sort of reminds me of Ozu and how he elides melodrama in his films by cutting as soon as the melodrama is about to intrude into the main story. Because what, what she wants to tell Danny is private. And you also mentioned you also mentioned how it can be sort of a meta thing that Dan Schneider might want to give not share her story publicly. Yeah, but not only that, but the character might have some privacy. But it also means that you, the viewer, if you're sitting in the audience there, what did she tell him? Was she, you know, is she going to tell him some deep, dark secret about being molested by Uncle Hank when she was six? Is she going to tell him that, uh, you know, uh, she did something illegal once? Is she going to talk about, you know, how, is it going to be something frivolous or not? We don't know. And, and that makes it more interesting. Because we get enough of the Marissa character and the Danny character to have a sense of how they might handle any of, say, 10 or 12 possible things that she could want to talk about. If we're talking uh, personal stuff or, or relationship stuff or work stuff. Um, but it's more fun to wonder what she's going to tell him than to actually give it. Just like, you know, the old thing is uh, it's always sexier to, well... I, men don't wear lingerie, but for us heterosexuals, it, a woman is always sexier in a piece of lingerie than naked, generally speaking, because you want you want to wonder what they're talking, what wonder what she looks like totally naked. Then when you see it, you're like, oh, she looks good, but she looked better in my mind. Same thing. If I did give and I did have Marissa say that she had been molested by her uncle Hank when she was six, then I've rooted it, rather than letting you co-create and I've talked about that many times is it's more interesting to let you the audience member the reader the watch of the film have a bit of co-creation you might think that that she's telling Danny something about maybe her boy her last two boyfriends have cheated on her or something the person sitting two seats over from you might think it has something to do with maybe she made a mistake at work and is worried that she's going to get fired once they get back from this trip to unreality that they're on who knows?